Hi everyone, uh, welcome. We're here. I'm here with Max from Preset. Uh, Going to talk about our subsurface event next week on March 2nd. We hope everyone can join us. Um, I'm Mark Lyons. I'm on the product management team at Dremio, and I'll let Max introduce himself. Hey, well, first, uh, thank you for having me. Excited for the conference. It's a pretty good uh, lineup. So I'm really uh, excited to be part of it uh, this year. So quick intro on me. So my name is Max. Um, I'm mostly known, I think, at this point in, the, in these circles for uh, being the, the original creator of Apache Airflow and Apache Superset, which are uh, two big Apache projects and very large, growing, successful communities. So really excited to be part of these communities and, and this, this story. And then more recently, about um, a few years back, I started a company called Preset. So I'm now a founder and CEO uh, at Preset. So uh, we're at preset.io. And Preset is a managed service around Apache Superset with all sorts of bells and whistles and integration. So it's like the best uh, Apache Superset you can get. That's there. super cool. Yeah, uh, I, I, I've checked it out myself. I know a few people um, and customers that use it. Um, and we also have an awesome founders panel at Subsurface next week, which I think Max is going to be joining us on with Tomer, the founder of Dremio, as well as the founders from DBT Labs and um, Atlin. So we look, you know, we really appreciate you participating in the conference and look forward to it. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about your session that we have on the agenda. It's called the next generation of business intelligence. Yeah, for sure. And I want to say like, I love the panels too. And especially with these guys, I think it's, it's a great lineup and the panels require very little preparation on my side. So <laughs> really easy. And I love like how the, just the conversation evolves and navigate, right? Sometimes it's, you have a less, um, you know, directed and predefined kind of flow, right? So you get to explore um, some really interesting areas. So looking forward to talk with these folks. Um, to talk a little bit about my talk. So my talk is still, uh, you know, on the workbench. Uh, so I don't know everything <laughs> about it. So, uh, you know, I might be even surprised of like what comes out in that talk. Um, but yeah, the, the short story, I think, is to look at, um, I want to look back at, um, you know, different generations of, you um, of business intelligence tooling and, and really like beyond business intelligence. I think that's a little bit, I, I don't like the term very much personally, like it sounds very businessy, but, uh, but looking at data exploration, uh, data uh, dashboarding, data visualization in general, and just collaborating with data. So people working with data and the tooling around it over the past two decades, exploring the trends of the tooling and how the tooling has been evolving, especially like how the, the modern data team have been evolving, right? There's some really big trends uh, that I've talked about in, in previous talks around uh, modern data teams. Things like, you know, data literacy is on the rise. Um, data governance is changing. Like more and more people are part of the analytics process, right? The process by which the data is uh, instrumented, logged, cleansed, organized, structured, visualized, consumed, collaborated on. So this analytics process is getting democratized. And I think that's really changing uh, the kind of tooling that, that we need. Yeah, and I read our, the abstract for your talk and it really, it really excited me thinking about, you know, getting the data closer to the processes and people and consumers, right? Less about the people coming to a dashboard to make a decision and more about putting the, the analytics forward into, into the hands of these people where they, maybe wherever they are, like whatever they do, um, whether they're driving a truck or sitting in front of a uh, retail point of sale or, you know, whatever that case may be, answering phones in a call center. So, you know, I think that's, that makes so much sense to me. Yeah, that's a big trend. I think that I'm going to be digging deeper, uh, diving deeper into uh, in the talk, which is like, well, instead of bringing everyone to where the data lives, so say like the data warehouse or the lake or the lake, whatever you call it now, <laughs> the, the, BI tool, the BI tool historically has been like a general purpose tool for all personas and all data, right? It's just been like, when you think about like, what is a BI tool? It's like, it will serve any data need of any type of data for anyone in your organization. I think like we need to kind of flip that inside out and bring the data to where people are. So like taking the interactive analytics, interactive uh, data visualization and bring them inside the tools and the application apps that people use every day. So you know, something we're really interested in uh, at Preset to enable the next generation of apps or the existing apps out there to easily bring 
data visualization. Or and, more analytics visualization. Yeah. yeah. Call it like in context analytics or in context data visualizations. Instead of going to some other tool, you bring kind of that that tool or the power of that tool to the applications people use every day. So that's that's one big trend. I mean, the the other one is uh, uh, I think it's like the the rise of open source and you know i have a, a blog post called the future of bi is, is open source too so i think like there's a bunch of reason why uh, when you build things you want to do that on an open platform and uh, using open source tooling uh and then governance is probably another one too of like more people are getting involved in the lx process so the process of like creating data for others um, it used to be really heavy where right? we used to have these very heavy semantic layers in BI tools, uh, things like business object universes, microstrategy projects, yep. uh, or more recently, you know, look ML. So that's very heavy semantic yep. layer to enable people to self-serve. These things are really hard to maintain and evolve, and they're not really progressively adoptable. They're really, they get in the way of, of doing a first pass on a data set. So there's a question of like how, where does these semantics live? Who manages them? And how do they evolve over time? So I think like uh, we have a pretty good take on that with Apache superset preset, but uh, but it's kind of interesting to see where how cool. this is evolving. Cool. Oh, well, I'm super interested to learn more. I hope that everyone is interested and wants to join us next week. We're giving away an Oculus uh, Rift. So anyone who joins gets an Oculus or anyone who registers uh, from this, watching this uh, promo gets an Oculus. And um, you know, I've never used one, but I heard that you have Mac, so I'm curious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so I'm super interested in VR. I played with it early on. Uh, you know, I fa I Facebook early on uh, with the the Oculus acquisition. I was able to get some some early sneak peeks and things. So I'm really excited for what this enables. Super fun toy, and probably more down the line. But uh, I wanted to tell this quick story of uh, you know, for Chris for for the holidays at Preset, we wanted to get together and we couldn't because of the pandemic. So. Uh, so we decided to ship everyone an Oculus Quest, uh, all the employees <laughs> internally an Oculus Quest. And then we run this experiment of um, of having like kind of a holiday celebration, presentation, get together uh, and, and a crazy. How did it go? How did, how did it go? Did it, 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 was, it was super, super fun. I forgot the name of the app we used. So one app was kind of just this social kind of get together where you put your face on your avatar and that looks super <laughs> creepy. It was kind of <laughs> awkward. We were all kind of walking around and like, you know, playing with uh, VR toys and, uh, and, and talking. And it was like, uh, definitely like interesting and funny, a little awkward. Um, yeah. And then we had like a presentation. So I gave a, a virtual talk in a virtual kind of room uh, and, and others to, in the company. And then, um, and then we played like Beat Sabers and other games. So people split to go in different virtual worlds and play. And that was a pretty fun experiment. I hear that people internally are using their quest to do some meetings and get together to post uh, post like this uh, holiday celebration party. So that's yeah. And well, I, I I recently joined Dremio a few months back, and now I'm a, a remote employee in Boston for you know a company in California. So I, I have to wonder, you know, how this VR stuff may change the workplace eventually, like like you're uh, like you're kind of alluding to. Yeah. So we ran the experiment. It's kind of interesting and, and playful, uh, but it's, it's a little short on some of the promises too. And like the, <laughs> the burden of like putting the thing the on and then you're like, oh, you know, uh, it's a little overwhelming. So I think we need to to get over that collectively for uh, for VR to really deliver oh, on these promises. It'll be interesting to see where this goes. So just to wrap up, I, you know, I invite everyone to join us next week. We have some awesome keynotes from Bill Inman, Cal Newport, Max will be there a bunch of other um, practitioners from companies like Uber and Apple and Mercedes-Benz, um, all talking about, you know, the data platforms that they're building and the lessons learned. So it's going to be a super great event. Dremio's founder, Tomer, is also making a bunch of announcements on the keynote uh, on Wednesday morning, a bunch of new things coming from the Dremio side. So look forward to seeing everyone there. I want to thank Max for his time. Thanks for jumping on today and look forward to your talk next week. Yeah, super excited too. Uh, I'm definitely like freeing uh, freeing my day and making sure uh, I'll be <laughs> attending and like catching all the talks. So excited for uh, for the conference. Cool. Great. We thank you. Thanks everyone. Cheers.